Travel season is here, and one of the most harrowing parts of travel is flying through turbulence. But what exactly is it? To help everybody understand, I decided to take a unique approach to explain the science. Take a look. Fasten your seatbelts. No, really, even if the captain has turned off that sign, you can hit serious turbulence at any given time. Now, turbulence can seem scary and tricky, but you don't have to fear it just because you can't see it. Air turbulence can actually be caused by several factors. Jet streams, those are bands of strong air currents circling the globe several miles above the Earth. The topography around mountains, those can create waves that actually push air up and over. And finally, weather fronts and thunderstorms. The heating and cooling of the air in the atmosphere results in updrafts and downdrafts. Think about the atmosphere like rushing water in a river. In some spots, the water would be pushed up higher by rocks. In the atmosphere, this can be caused by the heating of the air by the sun causing the air to rise, or the way the atmosphere interacts with Earth's topography. Either way, planes are actually designed to react and adjust with turbulence, not against it, even in a thunderstorm. Let me show you what I mean. Inside this indoor skydiving chamber, pretend I'm the fuselage and my friends from the Red Bull Air Force are the wings of the plane. We are all flexible and able to adjust to changing conditions inside this thunderstorm. But what happens when we hit an updraft? We are sent shooting upward into the atmosphere. But a downdraft does just the opposite, pushing us downward. So what is your pilot doing when you hit turbulence? Aircraft are actually built to withstand extreme turbulence. But what about predicting it? For years, pilots who hit turbulence would just notify air traffic control, who would in turn notify other planes near that same course. But now, automated technology is being used to alert pilots. Soon, however, lasers, water vapor sensors, and even weather radar systems could all make injuries from turbulence a thing of the past. For now, passenger safety when you hit turbulence, it's really up to you. Your best bet is keep your seatbelt on, and if you need to get up, do it quickly, and then buckle yourself back in. I mean, after all, you're flying through the air at 500 miles per hour.